So, Welder's House, Grade 2 listed house, built between 1898 and 1899. Time, okay, is quite, good. time is quite good for us. The governor's of St Luke's Hospital for Lunatics bought it okay. in 1910, and it's a 100-acre estate. The farm was sold to the Religious Society of Friends, and the house operated as a convalescent home for women with mild nervous maladies. Oh. From 1911 to 1916. Oh, which suits Ursula very well. It does suit Ursula, because Ursula has some maladies. Yes. One of her maladies might be thought to be a sense of um, people out to get her. Paranoia. Uh, paranoia. She's a little bit paranoid, which is appropriate, because in 1993, it was bought by Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, my goodness. You bought us So to this your... is the UK residence of Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. Still? Still. Oh. And it's been, it's been there. They've been in there since 1993. Look at you. And the new series of the Osbournes, they're, they're, move, they're moving back to England. They're going to do it here? Well, I'm assuming they're doing it here at Welder's House. You found a heavy metal connection. I found a heavy metal connection to Life After Life. Congratulations. <laughs> I thought um, you were going to say, because I was thinking, gosh, so we've got sort of like de Nazified Nazis on one side yeah. and then lunatic women on the other. The lunatic women on the other. Yeah, yeah, it's, good. it's good. Neither of which are mentioned. Really. The house was chosen by Sharon Osborne yeah. due okay. to its extreme distance from any pubs. Ah, <laughs> that's not true, though. There's know, two in true. Sears Green. We just walked, we Jolly just, cricketers. We just walked about, about, you know, I'm sorry, Sharon, but he just has to come out the front gate. Deluded. Mile up the road and he's got two pubs to choose from. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Good thought, though. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. hanging out in that in the book. Yeah, he's, he's a, bit a big too, reader. A bit too young, isn't he? He wouldn't have been. When was he born? Well, he would have. He would. He would have been here in, in the sixties, at the end of the book. Yes. Which is the, the book. The, yeah. the house has been sold by then, hasn't it? Can't see Ursula abandoning her jazz records for Black Sabbath, though, mate. No, I know. I agree. She's not really a metal fan. No, I don't think so. Shame. I like. I the, imagine Morris being a metal fan. I think that's good. You see, because I was going to take you to a farm nearby called Mopes Farm, where Lewis Collins lived. Must have lived at about the same time. Oh, really? So you'd have, you'd have so Lewis, Ozzy Osbourne here and Lewis Collins Lewis down Collins the road. Lewis did Ozzy's hair. Oh, he was a hairdresser, he wasn't was. he?